Welcome back for Tesla update number 19, March 1st through March 14th. This is a two week update and we are going to try and keep it short and simple for you this week. So the first thing is about a week and a half ago, Tesla released a new performance package for the Model 3. It is a $5,500 upgrade. It includes new rims, new tires, new brakes, new brake fluid, uh, TPMS sensors, things like that. This is only for performance Model 3s that have the performance package upgrade already. Um, along with this, this included an update from the most recent software update, 2020.8.1, and this includes track mode version 2. So track mode version 2 basically allows you to change how much power is going to the front wheels or the back wheels, uh, and you can change that percentage anywhere you want from 100% power to back and 100% power in front and anywhere in between. Along with that, you can change how much stability control is included and other little tweaks. This upgrade is included for all performance model threes. And if you don't already have 2020.8, you should be getting it soon and it will include this. In that same software that was just released, there are some new visuals added as well. Garbage cans, cones, road arrows, and more all come to Canada, European Union, and Mexico. Along with that, it shows how many stalls at superchargers are out of order. So that's a great update to have. And lastly, the part that impacts us most is with this most recent update, the ping ponging that I've talked about in our autopilot videos where the car goes back and forth within the lane. This has been fixed. I'm oh so excited about this. And honestly, this is the only fix that I really wanted. I'm super stoked that it actually happened. So we have it now. If you have autopilot uh, hardware 2.5 and have a ping ponging issue, that should be resolved with this most recent update. And according to Consumer Reports, Tesla has the highest owner satisfaction of any brand out there. And about a year and a half ago, Elon tweeted out that the March 2018 and older Teslas would be able to upgrade from the original MCU or media control unit to a newer one. This finally went live this last week. It's a $2,500 upgrade. It includes things like a more powerful processor so the things on the screen are more fluid uh, you can now watch Netflix or YouTube or Twitch or whatever else you want. If you already have autopilot cameras on your car, you now get sentry mode and a few other little updates like karaoke and things like that. And one of the trade-offs is if you have XM radio, you lose that and AM and FM radio, you would lose as well. Model Y owners started getting VINs on March 5th, and as of March 13th, there were some deliveries that had already happened. We stopped by the Salt Lake Delivery Center, and we saw our first Model Y. We're very exciting. excited about this. <laughs> we actually made a video about that. If you look at our videos from, well, technically yesterday by the time you see this, you can see that video that we made about it. So we tried to make a little collection of all the differences that we have found so far, um, whether it be from new owners or the manual or things like that. The first one is that the front cubby has two USB still. One of them is USB-C and one of them is still USB-A. Model Y comes with a wireless charger in the front, so no more need for third-party chargers. There are two under trunk compartments. Also, the range has increased. It went from 315 miles to 316 miles. Not very much, but still great. The back seats have two different levels of reclining. You can have it at a regular place or you can lean it back just a hair more. When the hatch is open and you're standing at the back of the car, there's two buttons on the left side that make it so that the seats lay down flat. And the Model Y owner's manual came out this last week. I was going through it and one thing that I found interesting was that the Model Y doesn't have towing capabilities mentioned. Uh, it actually says that the Model Y is not towing capable. Uh, this is interesting because at the back of the Model Y, there's a little plate that is removable and it looks like that's where a tow hitch would go. So. Maybe in a future update, currently the Model 3 is towing capable in the EU, but not in the United States. So maybe, maybe in the future we'll figure something out about that. I don't know. Model Y dimensions are out. Here's a screenshot for that. Feel free to pause the video or click the link below. And then lastly, the Model Y has a heat pump. This is different from the Model 3, but the same as the Model S and X. Basically heating up the battery is quicker. It can make the car more efficient, especially in cold areas. And when it comes to supercharging in the cold, you don't have to wait for the battery to heat up as long. So this is a great thing. And then on to Elon tweets, there's just a couple of them. The first one is from Anner J. Bonilla. And he asked, when can we see reverse summon in beta? And Elon responded, we need to finish work on autopilot core foundation code and 3D labeling. Then functionality will happen quickly, not long now. Just for clarification, reverse summon would be when you get out of the car at the store, the car can go park itself somewhere and then you would regular summon it back to you from the parking spot. 
The next one is from Vincent. It was basically information from the Minister of Economics from Germany. He said that he would be at the groundbreaking in the second half of March for Gigafactory 4 in Berlin. And he asked if Elon would be there, and Elon responded, definitely. And then Everyday Astronaut tweeted and said, I'm picking up my Model 3 with full self-driving upgrade today. I can't wait. And Elon responded, cool, we're tracking to release more full self-driving features later this month. Elon did mention that they were looking for locations for the Cybertruck Gigafactory. He's been teasing Texas a little bit, but it looks like the options are still open. So it's pretty cool to see that some governors and people like that are trying to invite and incentivize Tesla to come to their states. And the last thing that we wanted to include is that Elon tweeted out about their millionth Tesla that was made. It was a performance Model Y, it was red, it was beautiful, and it was the millionth car that Tesla has made. If they keep up at the rate they're going right now, their second millionth car will be made in about a year and a half to two years. So quite some progress considering their first million took them um, about 12 years. 35 changes were made in the last two weeks. Permits, there were nine, eight in the US and one in Iceland, 17 under construction, 12 in the US, one in Australia, one in Denmark, one in Italy, one in the UK, and one in Serbia. 15 opened, six in the US, three in Canada, one in Norway, two in Serbia, one in Bulgaria, and two in Australia, and three temporary closures, one in the US, one in Canada, and one in Austria. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, go ahead and dislike the video. It helps us to know what to produce more content of and what people like to watch. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. And get the back there too. Do I need to open? Oh. <laughs> now I need to start over. <laughs> yeah, you do need to start over. Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? Are you? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you in the next time. I know I messed up. <laughs>